Hi, I'm Nichelle Aiden at the Capitol with Representative Hall to talk about House Bill 231 about DNA privacy. Can you tell us about your bill? Yeah, so this is a fantastic bill. Over the last couple of years, um, the Utah legislature has done a pretty decent job of making sure that we protect personal privacy, uh, particularly in light of new technology. So when new technology comes along, law enforcement wants to use it, which is completely understandable to help catch the bad guys. So. Um, we always, when there's new technology, we always have to find where the where the point is, um, where between the two competing interests of catching all of the bad guys versus protecting individual privacy rights. We've had this discussion in our country for over 200 years. Um, you know, we all want to catch the bad guys, but how far do we go in violating individuals' privacy rights? So. This is a fantastic bill. We know that uh, consumer DNA tests have exploded over the last couple of years. A lot of people are doing that, and so and, and that's fine. That's great. We have an ability to uh, find out who our ancestors are and do that genealogical research, and so that's fantastic. Uh, so 23andMe and Ancestry.com, they actually do a pretty good job of making sure uh, of resisting law enforcement's attempt to get uh, the information from those samples. So whenever somebody, whenever law enforcement asks for those samples, they um, file a motion to make sure that that does not happen. Mm -hmm. So over the last uh, little while, what has happened is that uh, individuals have have started uh, uploading those DNA results onto publicly available websites. So there are now hundreds of thousands of samples online through a publicly available website. So what law enforcement would like to do and has done is they take some DNA that they collect from the scene and they compare it to the millions of samples that are publicly available online. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we think that this is a little bit of a problem because um, we are when law enforcement compares that DNA to the millions of samples, they have access to that very personal, private information that's public, publicly available. So we don't have any problem with uh, police uh, comparing uh, to, to make a match when they have a particular suspect in mind, but when they, when they compare a DNA samples to millions of samples online, we believe that that does not meet the particularity requirement of the Fourth Amendment. They, they just have no idea who the, who the suspect is and they're comparing it to the millions of samples that are online. So the bill would not um, stop police from doing D DNA searches and confirming matches and frankly not even uh, disallowing the, um, the samples that they have collected themselves. We just think that uh, Comparing a DNA samples to the millions of samples that are available online uh, is just a little too far. So we're cautiously optimistic that we can that we can read some language throughout the session that we'll be able to strike that balance between catching the bad guys, giving law enforcement the tool, the tools that they legitimately need, and then also protecting privacy rights. Okay, great. I think that sums it up. For more information or to contact your legislator, just click on the link in the description below.